for a D.C. police officer to resign after a deadly shooting got national attention last year. The officer is white, the victim is black, and there are conflicting accounts about what happened before the gunfire. Here's what we do know. The officer will not be charged. This is a decision that sparked protests last night and new criticism this morning. Mark Seagrave spoke with D.C.'s police chief in an interview you're only going to see on News 4. How's he responding, Mark? Yeah, Wendy. Chief Newsham continues to ask for the public's patience. He and Mayor Bowser made clear the decision not to prosecute was made by federal prosecutors and was out of their hands. But today, they both explained why they want the officer to resign. What I would say about a resignation is that uh, when uh, you know he is deciding whether or not to resign, uh, he needs to just consider uh, the family and consider the impact this could potentially have on the city. Uh, and those are the things I, I would like for them to consider, you know, when, he, when he's making a decision as to whether or not he wants to stay here at MPD. I believe if there's no accountability uh, in this incident um, that we, we break trust with our community. The U.S. Attorney's Office says there's not enough evidence to convict Officer Brian Trainer of any crime. They say Terrence Sterling was drunk when he led D.C. police on a high-speed chase that ended with Sterling crashing his motorcycle into the passenger side of the police cruiser. That's when Officer Trainer opened fire, killing Sterling. Trainer's partner can be seen providing first aid to Sterling in the moments after he was shot. Trainer has been on the force about four years. He's now assigned to a desk pending an internal investigation. Paul Trantham is an advisory neighborhood commissioner in Ward 8, where he says his neighbors want police and prosecutors held accountable. This is one more reason why so many people have a lot of lack of faith in the judicial system as well as police officers. And any time a prosecutor take it upon himself to be the judge and the jury, I have a strong problem with that. This city should be down on 4th Street asking for his resignation. Last night, a group of Sterling's friends gathered at the spot where he was killed to voice their outrage that the officer wasn't charged with any crime.